So, as y'all know, we are talking about really good albums with terrible, terrible album art. Mm -hmm. So, we'll keep it going, and we're going to go with one of my picks right now, mm -hmm. which is Kendrick Lamar's Damn. I think I heard you talk about this once before. Yeah, absolutely. About, yeah, love, 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 love this album. One of my uh -huh. favorite Kendrick albums. Like, top to bottom... I do not skip a track on this album. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what the fuck are we looking at? <laughs> Why this? Why this? What What is it about the damn album? T tell me, like, it's, what is it that you find so off-putting about this? It It looks completely unfinished, and it, that that picture looks like a filler picture. Like they're waiting to get the actual picture of Kendrick they want to use. What is the face he's making? What is he trying to do? I, I don't understand, and I don't understand why "damn" is so hard to read, in at certain angles. I it it just doesn't do anything. I I I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Mm. I don't get Kendrick what's happening in any of this. Okay. In well, any okay. Of this. I I so Wikipedia has a write up about the the artwork of this project as well. It says April eleventh, twenty seventeen. Lamar revealed the cover artwork for "damn." The album cover was designed by Vlad Sepetov, who created the album covers for Lamar's last two projects, The Pimple Butterfly and Great Untitled cover. Unmastered. You know, I never Great thought cover. that Untitled Unmastered album as an actual Kendrick album. It was all like, I, never, I, I always think about it as just like an unreleased collection. I mean, just a release yeah. collection of random songs. I never thought about it as a project. You know, we need to come back to that in a second. Uh, Sepetov described Dam's cover as loud and abrasive. And not uber political like to Pimple Butterfly, but it has energy. Sepatov goes on to say that the decision to put the parental advisory sticker in its unconventional position was so it could be part of the design instead of an afterthought. Uh, Billboard listed is. the cover as one of the best of 2017, dubbing it both memeable and memorable. Monty, your thoughts? No, no, no. That is... That is an artsy way to cover up that I did some shitty design. Mm -hmm. That's all I heard right there. This it is none of those words. He used a bunch of words, but he wasn't describing that. <laughs> Wait, good. Put the cover back on the screen. He said he wanted it to be loud and abrasive, but all right, not stop right there. political. Stop right there. Loud and abrasive. Let's look at this. What the fuck is loud and abrasive about this? Kendrick I mean, looks right. like he's about to pass out or take a nap. Mm -hmm. And Dam is just up there big and red and unfinished. I don't mm -hmm. mind. I, I get the, the design concept of going out of the borders and everything, but it looks unfinished. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what's loud and abrasive about it? There's no loud. There's no abrasive. Yeah, well, I'm, next. I'm actually not a fan of the font, and there are lots of album covers that, and they, they actually, this makes me think about like some of the Kanye album covers, right? Where it's like they go super artsy with the cover, right? Yeah. And I'm like, this must be like a high level of art that's so high, I don't get what it's supposed to be. Then it's bad art, Hannibal. Like, people, here, here's my thing with art, and mm -hmm. I just want to break this down real quick. People always okay, go. go I, I don't I don't understand the art. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. That means you're looking at bad art. Cause the every artist's purpose is to convey a feeling or an emotion mm -hmm. or make you feel something. You're supposed to look at that piece and feel a thing. It's it's as Ace Wonder brought up earlier, it's like having to explain the joke. You should never have to explain your art. People should walk up to it and go, oh, my God, that's that. I feel this, this, and this. That's mm -hmm. what I was trying to do. I hit the mark. That's art. There's, there's, no, there's no higher level to it of understanding. You don't have to be a certain level of intelligence to understand good art. You just have to be human and feel things if the artist did his fucking job. Mm. Mm. 
you know, a- like, 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 I, that, it's funny because, like, our head songwriter Cole Love often says very similar things about art when he's speaking about uh, uh, music and, and being able to tap into feelings, um, it, like having the listener be able to tap into certain feelings, like, like when they hear the song. They should get what the song is when they hear it, as yes. opposed to you having to explain to them yeah. what the song is. Yeah, and you should never have I, to explain your art. Music is y'all. Y'all make art too. You should never have to explain your art. Your mm-hmm. job is to convey your emotion through your art. Mm-hmm. J- Juma P said it's like it's like gangster off the wall. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> You know, listen, they got it in the red font because, you know, he's a blood. You know, he's supposed to, I think Kendrick is, is supposed to be blood. I don't know if he's Pyru or not, but I yeah, I think he's, I'm pretty sure he's, he's a blood. Uh, oh, I, you know what? I don't know what his gang affiliations are, if any. I, I thought yeah. he leaned red, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Um, I've never liked that font, right? It just seems, it looks. It's just Times New Roman. Yeah, it looks cheap. Yeah, it's because it's Times New Roman. Yeah, it looks cheap. <laughs> To me, like when that, like it, this cover or has Garamond. always looked. It might be Garamond. I just always look cheap to me. No, Garamond looks a no. Garamond looks a little less cheap. The curves are smoother. That's times. Mm. Okay. <laughs> this, this nigga Monty. I mean, this this you people Monty is a fucking font expert in this bitch. <laughs> but no, look, 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 check out the track listing on this. This is a great fucking album. Uh huh. Like, look at this. Great. Even even after after you two. Snuck its way onto everybody's iPhone. You two also snuck its way onto Damn. The, the, mm-hmm. That was great. But that that art, come on. Yeah. Like to me, this is one of Kendrick's best. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, no, this this album is this album is incredible. I don't I don't think any of us. Look, there are very few of us that would challenge that this album is not great. This album is perennially considered like it is critically acclaimed and it made a lot of money which is funny because i remember when this album came out and there were like uh 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 drake fans no not this album i was talking thinking about mr morale and the big steppers never mind never mind never yeah. mind yeah but Mal- malcolm little says this album was mid as fuck overrated like i said there's always one you know but the the fact that the other 99 percent is like nah man this album is incredible that's all yeah. that really matters yeah malcolm little is wrong wrong but that's okay he, hey he man, every right. everybody's entitled to their wrong opinion. You know, yeah. some people think this album is mid. Some people think the Thriller cover is trash. It's just you know, it's just <laughs> like that sometimes. Like, you know, we 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 all have bad thoughts. Like there's always like we all have a thought that we we feel and believe that nobody else agrees with. You know, and it's just and and that's fine. You know, all right. sometimes all right. you just be like, you know what, two plus two is yellow, and you're not gonna change my mind. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. You stupid, but it's all good. Oh, just like that, just like that. I'm all right. No, I mean, just like, no, it's just like, hey, it, it happens to everybody. We Everybody's got something that we stupid about, okay? And it just, so it's all good. <laughs> the Thriller cover, you know? cover is bad. You know, um, and look, just, uh, just to be clear, right? Like, ignorance is like, hey, I don't have this information. Stupid is like, oh, I got the information. I just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. There we go. That's all. <laughs> all right. All right, I see what you did there. Ace One, oh, you got any Malcolm, thoughts on... Malcolm Little agrees with you. He says the, the Thriller album is trash, too. The, the Thriller album cover is trash, too. Yeah, he, he can be right sometimes. But, Ace One, do you got any opinions mm-hmm. on Damn and the album cover? I love the love the album. Never really seen the cover, to be yeah. honest with you, <laughs> <laughs> up, yeah. up until this point. It, it I don't get anything from it, you know, good or bad. Yeah, but he's wearing a shirt, so... Yeah, I'll take that. That's that's a that's a plus. Yeah, his his nipples is covered, unlike yeah. the other two covers you picked. <laughs> it's like this uh, one is bad because I can see his nipples. This one is bad because I can see his nipples. I can't see Kendrick's nipples. I don't got a problem with this one. Y'all 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 finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween and collard greens.